What's up guys, it is Snazzy iPhone Hacker here and today I'm going to show you how to change your boot logo using a app called Logo Me from Cydia. This does not require any restoring, regeal breaking or open SSHing. It's a good and easy way to change your boot logo to a custom feel so that way you can change it from that regular Apple logo that everyone else has when their um, iPhone or iPod Touch loads up. First of all, you guys are going to want to open up Cydia, and also, you're going to want to make sure that you're on the 2.2.1 firmware, or I think it also works with the 2.0.2.1 thing firmware. But um, once you open up Cydia, you go into search, and you're going to want to type in, let's see there, yeah, it's called Logo Me, like I said before. You guys do not need to add any sources because it is from the big boss in Planet iPhone system. Um, repository. So once you open that up, press install. I have already had it installed to save time. So click install, let it install. Once you have it installed, well first you guys can see change the boot logo on the iPhone without having to re jailbreak or restore. Once that is installed, you want to go to your home, Let's go to wherever it is on your um, springboard, and you're going to want to open it up. Once you open it up, it will show you that it's the new version, which is version 2.1 of Logomi. And it gives you a little directions, kind of. It says push start to select an image to flash from your image gallery or from the web. Please note that this version only works with uh, works on devices with firmware version 2.0.1 to 2.2.1. They want you to donate. Um, you guys know times are hard out there, so if you want to donate, donate out to this program. Although... I don't know if you guys might want to donate, it's not that big of a deal, but help them out if you want to. Once you press start, you'll see that it says image picker, download image, or restore to default, which is another cool thing about this app is that if you have used QuickPone and used one of your custom boot logos, like maybe you choose the have chosen the pineapple logo to have as your boot logo, if you choose restore to default, I'm pretty sure that it will bring it back to the Apple logo, which is pretty cool if you regret using that uh pineapple looking thing. When you press dim download image, it will let you type in a URL that goes straight to the image. That works really well, but you're going to want to type in a lot of buttons. I like to use image picker more, where I can go straight to the camera roll and pick a photo. Alright, any of these photos right here. I've noticed that you can't really use pictures that you have taken like off the camera. It doesn't really seem to work that well. So I found a website that is perfect and works great with this um, app. So what you want to do, unless you somehow find out that one of your photos seems to work with this app, but it hasn't really worked with me, it has given me a little bit of problems, so open up Safari, and then you're going to want to go, go into Google, and type in custom boot logos, hold on, let me just do this, custom, custom boot logos for the iPhone, or you can press custom boot logos for the iPod Touch, and you're going to let that download, I mean upload. Then click on the second link or whatever link that says Spazio Cellular. Click on it. And once that down, once that loads up, you're going to be taken to like this Spazio website. I don't know if you guys have heard of their repository. They make pretty good stuff. But then it says download custom boot images for Pwnage tool and WinPwn. And here they give you a bunch of pictures that you can use as your boot logo and as you can see there's plenty of them they got some Watchmen stuff some Marvel which is what I used once and uh, just for sake of time let's let's see let's click this one when you click on it nothing really seems to happen so I think you might just wanna hold down and just save the image that's what I did. If you can find out a way to open that up into a bigger format, into a bigger size, that would be very grateful. I mean, that would be very helpful because when you open up Logo Me and use that image that you saved, it is going to be pretty small. But let me just show you that it does work, although it seemed to like give me some problems recently. Once you click on the image that you want, it will say preparing image. It goes pretty fast. You can preview it, and that's what it's going to look like. 
as you guys can see, that is the Marvel Ultimate Alliance gang. I guess that's Hulk and Captain America and all uh, stuff. And you can press Flash, which is to download it up there. So right now, we, I already have it flashed, but I'll do it again just for the sake of this. Do you really want to flash your boot logo? When you cl click Flash, it will show you a, a meter on the bottom. It does take about like a minute, minute and a half. So just for the sake of time and so you guys can trust me, I'm going to skip that part and just reboot my iPhone. So I'm going to hold the bottom, the, whole, the home button and the power button, and I'm just going to restart it. And bam, there you guys go. There you see. There, as you can see, guys, I have that Marvel, uh, like Marvel picture instead of the Apple logo. And I did this by using Logo Me, which is an awesome app from the Jailbreak. But you have to be on Jailbreak to use this. It's from Cydia. It's free, totally free. It's really easy to use. Although finding a good image that takes up the entire screen is hard to find. You're gonna have to find something that's within the right dimensions. If you choose a image that is too big, it will tell you that it is too big and you cannot use it. Um, if you do not like it, you can press restore to image default and it will go back to normal. I have not noticed any problems with this. So far, it works great. I have noticed one problem when I tried uploading a regular image from my camera. It just gave me a blank screen, although it did load up. Uh, as for Time-wise, it does seem like it takes a little bit longer to load up than how it does on a regular Apple logo, but nothing really substantial that you can actually notice. And as you can see, guys, these Apple products take a long time to load up anyways. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope you guys check out all my other videos. And since I'm only on 7 minutes, I guess I'll just, if this loads up quickly enough, I'll show you another thing another way that a picture can go on there if it actually loads up but oh while I have this time I just want to let you guys know we are past 100 subscribers this is all thanks to Quinn since he started off pretty much with like 90 subscribers that's awesome and keep on subscribing guys because I'm going to be putting a lot of great videos on a lot of great hacks and mods for the iPhone and iPod touch and sorry if I haven't made a video in a while but you know spring break in school kind of been busy, haven't really had the time to just do a video, but I'm gonna, I'm really trying to just do some new videos, guys, for you. I'm gonna try to do a video on how to get these really cool INAV themes, but in, like, red, and with better, like, spring jumps so you can get through your pages faster, so be on the lookout for that, so please subscribe now, guys. I'm also gonna show you the app Compact TV, which is great, it has a lot of TV shows streaming straight to your, um, iPod or iPhone and also just rate the video subscribe guys I do have IntelliScreen I believe still working alright but that's logo me guys try it out in Cydia don't really need to add any sources for it let me know if you have any problems I'll, down there leave a question and leave a comment and I'll let you know how it all goes alright thanks for watching guys Snazzy iPhone Hacker here Peace out.